Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. I'm Matt Pullen, and this is our place to share all about how to use your iPad creatively in your classrooms. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll be kept up to date on everything that we release. Now let's get stuck into today's video. Okay, great. Welcome to this next installment around iMovie and the features we can use in iMovie. Let's jump straight back into iMovie. And let's carry on from that water cycle video that we've been working on before. This is a great thing about iMovie. I can continue editing. It's just saved everything pretty much from where I left off in the last video. You see that we've got my video, we've got my audio track, and we've got a picture in here. Now let's imagine that I wanted to create some additional effects within this water cycle video. As we scroll through, it might be that at this point, I want to say that there is rain falling. Okay, and I can have that as my audio here. What I can also do is if I split the video, so by tapping on the video, tapping split, you'll see that that's given me a new section. And then I'm gonna split it again here. Now I've got a section of video which just has the water falling. Okay, so that's my rainfall. So what I can then also do is just by selecting that one clip is along the bottom, choose titles, I can choose whether I want them to be centered or I want them to be on the lower section. Okay, so some of them have like that center. Some you can choose whether they go in the middle as an opening part or as a closing element. So they all have different settings. Okay, so you can play around with what works for your video. I'm actually just going to stick with uh, the standard one and put it in the lower section. And I'm just going to change the text here to just say rainfall. I don't want this text, so just tap on delete. And then you'll see as we go through the video, first section says water cycle, next session section says rainfall, and you see the rain falling. But then that text is gonna disappear for that next section, okay, where you can continue to build. So adding in those text elements are really, really helpful as a, just a quick way to add that information to your video. And you can do that all the way through. Okay, so many other things that we can add in here then, if I tap on this next section. We've already looked at how we can split those clips. We can also duplicate those clips. It might be that you wanted to talk about something in more detail. So it might be that you want, you know, we've got the water cycle here at the start. Or actually, do you know what? I want that at the end as well. Now I could add in the video again and do the whole process. Or I can simply just split this clip to where I want it. So I'm going to say I want it to there. I'm going to split, tap on that clip again, tap duplicate, I get an exact replica. And now what I'm going to do is take that clip, just by tapping on it and dragging it, I'm just going to drag it to the end of my video, just by here. I'm going to get rid of the ants because they're not really relevant to what I'm doing at the moment. There we go. So now I've very quickly got that at the start, and then I've got the water cycle at the end again. Okay, so you've, you've just simply duplicated a clip. So really, really simple process in order to do that. Between each of those cut clips, you'll notice these little, little icons by here, the line and then the, the inverted triangles facing each other. These are transitions. You can turn these on, turn these off. You can choose how long you want that transition to last and choose the theme. So you see here, this one is gonna go in that style. If I choose this as a dissolve, you see how there's a dissolve it blurs between the two and again it really depends on on the effect you want okay so actually in my video i want it to almost just be a, a general transition so these ones th there's no transition there at all okay you could change it to a fade there we go we've got a nice fade so really really simple way what you can also do is turn sound effects on okay so you actually can have a sound effect happen as you transition from one section of your video to the next as well again it it might impact on your video it might add to the video um, i would always suggest you know don't overload a video with lots and lots of different effects but it, sometimes it can really really have an impact to show that you're changing from one section to the next so it's a useful tool to know about okay so we've looked at actions we can also look at speed there might be a section of a video where do you know what it takes a long time for you to get to the point you're trying to get to so in fact, I do have a part of my video, I think it's uh, as the stream turns into the river, this part here, that's that's quite a long bit. 
you know, how long does it take you to say, uh, you know, a stream forms a river and then a river flows to the sea. So I'm actually going to go all the way through to the part where the river flows to the sea, and I'm going to split that. And now in this clip, I'm going to tap on it, and I'm going to choose the speed. And I'm actually going to speed that up a little bit. You see that that shrinks the clip, because basically I'm going to go through that clip a lot quicker than I did before. So now if I just quickly play that through, it doesn't take as long as it did before. It still, it still takes quite a long time to go from that to that. So I'm actually going to go back in and I'm going to turn that even faster. And just go back to the start of that clip again. There we go. I think that transitions a, a lot quicker than it did before. So there we go. So that's how we can change the speed as well. Now, there's another focus in here, which is to add in a freeze frame. There could be a part of your video when you're creating it that you need to talk over for longer and you just actually just want a freeze frame of it. So what you can do, again, is if I just tap on that section, tap freeze frame, what that's going to do is just give me that time period here to just say, do you know what, I'm just going to freeze on that part just for that little bit longer in the video. So it's just going to pause, giving me a little bit longer to talk about it before the next part then continues. Okay, so here I might be talking about the sun coming in or, or whatever it might be. And, and when I first created it, I didn't give myself enough time. Just by adding in that freeze, I can just, you know, section off how long that part is going to last for on my, on my frame. Now, there are other ways to do that. Obviously, you could clip the video, you could put in a still image. That's just a really, really quick and easy way to add that section in. Okay, so we've looked at actions, we've looked at the speed, we've looked at the titles. Final thing to look at along the inspector is our ability to add filters. Now, it's kind of a bright sunny day in this, okay? Um, and actually, when the sun, uh, when the clouds come out, it actually might be a little bit more gloomy. So how do I add that effect in? So again, I'm going to go to my actions, I'm gonna split this, and on this clip, I'm actually gonna to go to filters, and I'm gonna think, well, do you know what, let's just try and make it look like the day's turned a little bit gloomier. There we go, that kind of represents a little bit more of a gloomy day. And you can kind of just use that as a, as a filter. Now you can use filters for all sorts. If you were doing something about, um, you know, Victorian times or anything from the past, you might want to use the black and white filters. Uh, this is a great one, by the way, the silent era of movie making. So actually you get that kind of lines on the screen. So really, really nice filter for children to play around with things. I'm going to keep mine nice and bright, but there's lots and lots of different styles down here, and they're they're titled along the lines of things that you think students would want to use it for as well, so that can be really helpful in the classroom to get children to think for themselves, like, what's the best style that I might want to use for any one of those things. So there we go. We've just had a look at some of the inspection tools that we can choose when we're editing our movies in iMovie.